Hi, this is Al Dominguez once again coming to you from the NAB show floor here in the South Hall, I believe. Uh, and we're talking to uh, the Streambox Live folks. Uh, and with me is Ben Larson. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit, or I'd like to have you explain if you would, a little bit about Streambox and and your main differentiator from other folks in your category. Sure. Uh, St Streambox, uh, we make video encoders and decoders. We have management options for live streams, and we also have file-based workflows for SD and HD content. Streambox Live is our new cloud-based, many-to-many video sharing service that offers pay-as-you-go uh, downloads. Also, uh, all users of the service get access to free software that's easy to use um, and can be installed on laptops or mobile devices like Windows mobile phones and now the iPhone. And what, if, with regard to your uh, the, the service that you're providing, uh, what is the how would this work as opposed to a, a typical CDN or what have you? Well, our encoders are based on the industry-leading ACTL3 codec, which we uh, we use. The video from the encoder is stored on the server, and it's broadcast quality video. It, it's not necessarily intended for web distribution. Our video has been typically used in the past by broadcasters for contribution. Streambox Live is a low-cost contribution service um, and what we've added to the uh, options is a web distribution option where now users of the service can send their live streams directly to a hardware decoder for a playout on the air or uh, the free Streambox Media Player, which is a software decoder, or now they can also send their video directly to the web, or both, or any combination of those things. So you could send it to your broadcast output, get SDI, send it to the air, and to the web at the same time. So a lot of different options with regard to terrestrial web or what have you. That's right, it's very flexible. And, and in terms of this new product, how long has it been out? How long have you had it? Uh, it was announced at IBC in Amsterdam in September, and we've we've been continually making improvements and process upgrades to the the server. And some of the new things that we've brought to the service uh, at this NAB is what we've put new servers on the Visada and Stratos networks. Uh, because the server architecture is distributed, we're planning to deploy servers on as many uh, network. Uh, leaders and leaders in the networking space as we can, such as ATT, Verizon, Sprint. We intend to have it available for our customers so they have a, a server near them, close to them, for international use, for domestic use, and uh, also, of course, the iPhone app is available for download now, and it's been really popular. It's just going to revolutionize how citizen journalists can submit video to um, and contribute video to broadcasters. One of the other interesting things about Streambox Live is a metadata-based uh, DRM so that contributors can specify in the metadata of the video stream who has access to their video. So it can be sent to public, it can be sent to uh, any of the leading broadcasters or government NGOs, uh, you know, et cetera. So it's easy for these users of Streambox Live service to get a lot of high quality, low cost contribution. Okay, so for news gatherers and those people that are concerned with digital rights management, mm -hmm. it's a good way of, of doing this. Now, cost, cost aspect of this service, what, what are we looking well, at? Here? We offer a pay as you go, no contract, kind of like the Starbucks card idea where you just put minutes on your account and then as you use the minutes up, you know, you add more. Uh, we're also offering for those who want higher commitment in terms of uh, data volume or duration, uh, one year and two year contracts, and um, the price starts to go down substantially by the time you get to the, the max two year contracts. It goes from 50 cents a minute for all the way down to five cents a minute. So for those people, as I talked to one of your associates, those people that are utilizing 
uh, uplinks and the cost of satellite back and forth. Yeah. It's a great cost saver. It's a great cost saver. And what's also really going to be unique for them is the option to um, get a Streambox decoder included in the contract. And the advantage of the Streambox decoder is our new enhanced uh, scaling technology that will take uh, lower resolution video and output really great looking SD or HD video right out of the SDI. So you can take your DV camera or iPhone and get baseband or SDI right out of the back of the box, get it right into your plant and just makes the whole thing a lot more streamlined, gives you better quality and it's just easier to deal with. So with uh, the big question that a lot of people might have is what type of bandwidth would you be looking at to offer a, a very nice quality picture? Um, our free encoder is optimized to run at, at 512K or less, which is really easy to get over Wi-Fi or a 3G connection, and the picture quality is great. Um, we're also, because all Streambox platform products, including our, our SD encoder software and HD encoder software, also work with Streambox Live service. SD will go from a laptop um, from 64K up to 8 megs, and HD will go from you know, two and a half megs up to 20 megs on a laptop. So you, you're able to use any of our products with Streambox Live, and any of the you know decoders will play video from Streambox Live. Okay, once again, it's Streambox Live. Uh, uh, this is a new product that was just announced. How can people get more information? Uh, they can email sales team at streambox.com or marketing at streambox.com to get more information about Streambox Live service. Okay, thank you very much, Ben. Uh, again, that's Streambox Live located in South Hall. Uh, what is your booth number? It's SU8911. SU8911. Again, uh, Streambox Live. Please stay with us for some of the other uh, providers and, and uh, exhibitors that we'll be providing here from the shelf vlog. Once again, this is Al Dominguez from NAB 2010.